My name is Lenora Helm and I'm here on the campus of North Carolina Central University and we're here to talk about jazz. Jazz music is a music that I've loved since I was 15 years old and I love sharing it with other people and to kind of dispel some of the myths and the questions people may have. So let's start at the beginning. What is jazz? Uh, the question is often asked, how do I know when I'm listening to jazz? And, and what am I listening to? So let's explore what we may already know about jazz music. We know that it's born here in the United States. It's a true American art form. As a matter of fact, Congress passed legislation in 1987 making jazz a national American treasure. So we have much to be proud of with jazz music. Jazz music was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. So that's one of our jazz facts. Jazz was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. Why New Orleans? Well, around the turn of the century, there were many different cultures in that part of the United States. And these many types and groups of people would listen to each other's music. The parties, music was everywhere. The parties, the events, the regular day-to-day -day things that people would do that involved music, churches. You would hear opera, you would hear marching bands, you would hear uh, music on the, on the river boats. You would hear music that people would just enjoy uh, for pleasure. And all of these different groups of people would share their music, of course. They lived amongst each other and the musicians would start to borrow from each other's types of music. That's what, well, how and why jazz was born. All of the groups that were in New Orleans, Louisiana around this time at the turn of the century sharing each other's music. Well, one of the things people always want to know is who created jazz? Well, we really can't say that there was one person that was the inventor of jazz. There were many people who, I guess, were jazz pioneers. And the first person that people begin to speak about is Charles Buddy Bolden. Charles Buddy Bolden played cornet, which is a little high-pitched trumpet. And uh, he had a beautiful, uh, uh, powerful volume and sound in his trumpet. And he was very creative and influenced many other uh, musicians of that time. So there were other people as well who um, were considered jazz pioneers. And some of these names are uh, Freddie Keppard, Kid Ory, King Oliver, uh, uh, Jelly Roll Morton, and of course Daniel Lewis Armstrong, who people began to know as Pops or Satchmo Armstrong. Um, and we'll tell you a little bit more about uh, many of these names as we go along. Well, Jelly Roll Morton he was considered, he called himself the inventor of jazz, but that really wasn't true. He was a pianist, and uh, his name, his real name was Ferdinand. And Jelly Roll Morton was considered to be, I guess, the first jazz arranger. Uh, what does that mean? Well, he would take the music that was played by his contemporaries and the music he would play and hear at the, the music sessions and on piano and write it down. Uh, he would kind of organize what was being played with each other uh, in a way where people could hear it and play it later. Because what he really thought was important was documenting the music of that time so that there would be a historical, um, historical proof of all the great music that was happening. So he's considered to be maybe the first jazz arranger. Um, and let's see, Daniel Lewis Armstrong, we've all heard of pop, Satchmo, and we can say that Lewis Armstrong was the father of vocal jazz for the way that he sang and the way that he played. What many uh, people will say about Lewis Armstrong, especially Billie Holiday, who was influenced by him, says that she loved that great big fat sound he would get on his trumpet. And the way that he would play the music and the rhythms, that swing feel influenced all jazz musicians after him. So these musicians were all born around the turn of the century in the late 1800s until the early 1900s. And those are our jazz pioneers.